Wow, man. Zillow tried flipping houses and they lost $550 million. Now, as I'm doing this show right now, this should probably not be news to any of you, right? This is old news. I'm doing the show in January of 2022. All this stuff broke out in November of 2021. So am I just the slowest dude to the news cycle? Am I just like way the hell behind all the other YouTubers and real estate uh, influencers out there? No, 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 no. What I want to do is talk about something slightly different. I want to talk about the fact that all I see now because of this is video after video after video like, ah! Zillow exited the housing market. Does that mean there's a crash coming? Is there a crash coming? Why is everyone saying this, folks? Is there really a crash? Or does Zillow not know their head from their asshole? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where I speak my mind about real estate. And I answer your questions, and then I answer questions that are just important, right? Questions that are important to me and to, by extension, I believe you, about real estate, right? I know a thing or two about real estate. I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff, right? I know what I'm doing. By the way, if you're interested in working with my team to invest in real estate, show notes below, book a free call. We'll talk to you about it. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm not really here to pitch anything. I'm here to talk about Zillow, what Zillow's got going on, and all the videos and this or that I see about everybody talking about, oh my God, it must be a housing crash. I do not believe a housing crash is coming. No, I don't think a housing crash is coming. But you know what else? I don't have a freaking crystal ball. I don't know the future. But what I can tell you is Zillow exiting the house flipping business, in my opinion, because of a $550 million loss. God damn it. How do you lose $550 million flipping houses? Jesus! I don't believe that is an indication uh, that the housing market is going to tank, right? Here is the deal, right? For those of you who are like full-blown idiots and don't know what Zillow is. I don't even know how that's possible, but like Zillow, you know, the website, right? They're, they're a data aggregation company, and they're huge. It is a publicly traded company, and people go on there when they want to look at homes and whatnot, homes that are listed by realtors, right? And then Zillow tried to get into the house flipping business, okay? Here's the thing. I don't believe tech companies like Zillow are going to ever really have the ability to make money flipping houses. Making money flipping houses, folks, at some point, you can't just have tech guys out of school and analysts and algorithms. At some point, you need to actually have somebody with their money on the line that understands the real estate business, okay? There are some businesses that are totally scalable, right, on a nationwide scale. Some are not, right? And real estate is very hard to scale something like buying, flipping, selling, right? Like, you know what else has not been scaled, okay? A nationwide general contracting business, right? There's none of them, okay? Sure, you'll see a little bit for specific trades, HVAC, electrical, but like just random general contracting, those are very market-specific. There's so many variables, right? And Zillow thought with all their tech guys and their smart degrees and this or that, they can get into the business. And by some estimates, they lost $550 million. That's what this article said. Another article said they lost $381 million. And you might be thinking like, dude, you're an idiot, James. It's a tech company. They're just ramping up. They don't need to make profit. As you can see, this is them ramping up, okay? The blue line, that's houses they sold. The green is houses they purchased. You might be thinking, that's what Zillow does, bro. They get into markets. They gain market share. They're a tech company. They have a burn rate. They don't need to make profit. You're just some real estate property manager. What do you know? You're an idiot. You don't know anything about 
gaining market share. Profitability is not important. It's about controlling the market, pushing other people out, making realtors obsolete, right? So that's the idea you might be thinking Zillow had, right? So they start small, go huge, go big, go unprofitable. Doesn't matter, they're gaining market share. No, didn't work. They backed out of it. And if you look at some of the other stuff that Zillow has done, right, like Zillow's revenue from the time they started, they became a company in 09. Latest uh, info I have is from 2021. Obviously, it's like three days into friggin' 2022, right? That's their model, right? This is their revenue from 2009 all the way to 2021, okay? Super, super small continues to grow, right? They're gaining market share. They're gaining market share. They're getting rid of real estate agents. But the thing is, they never actually made any profit during this time, right? Here's their profit during that same time, okay? This is obviously zero right here, right? Negative, 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 negative. Made a little bit back to negative, okay? So you might be thinking, though, doesn't matter. Again, it's all about burn and churn, right? It's about the burn rate. It's about taking over market share. Folks, Zillow isn't putting real estate agents out of business, okay? It doesn't matter how much market share they continue to gain. They're not putting your realtors out of business. We could all agree from 2009 to 2021, they have gained a hell of a lot of revenue, right? They're in the billions of dollars of revenue. Like their revenue uh, as of <clears throat> the quarter ending September 30th, okay, 2021, 1.73 billion, right? That's 164% year over year. They're gaining revenue, but are and they're gaining market share, but are they really going to put realtors out of business? I say no. I say no. I don't think Zillow's putting real estate agents out of business. Okay? This is me on a real estate forum 6 years ago, and I was given statistics, important stats 6 years ago, okay? Now, when Zillow became a business, okay, when Zillow started, all right, 14%, 14% of homes, the year before uh, Zillow became a business, 14% of homes were sold for sale by owner, all right, 14%. You might be thinking, Zillow knows what they're doing. They don't have to make a profit because they're going to push those real estate agents out of business, right? Zillow makes it possible for homeowners to sell their homes without realtors. Why do you need a realtor? All the data is on Zillow. That's what you're thinking, okay? The year before Zillow became a company, year before, 14%, 14% of owner occupants. When I wrote this post six years ago, I had data, okay? I had data. Six years ago, I had data. Guess what? That year, only 9%, only 9% of people sold their home, okay? Sold their home for sale by owner, right? So Zillow ain't a company yet in 2004, right? Zillow's not a company for another five years, okay? Ten years later, in 2014, Zillow started as like 09, right? So Zillow, ten years after that, right? So 14% before Zillow is a company. 10 years into this, 10 years into this, 10 years down the road, Zillow's now been kicking it for five years. And what's the number? It's gone down. It's only 9%. But hey, who cares about 2014 though, right? As I talked to you today, it's January 2022. So what do the numbers reflect now? Obviously, in that last seven years, Zillow must, must, have gained it, right? They must have totally gained that market share because, look, man, it really started pumping, right? It really started pumping at the end. So what do the most recent numbers say? Well, here's something right from uh, the National Association of Realtors. 87% used an agent, so 13%, okay? <laughs> so before Zillow, it was 14. Went down to 9. Now it's at 13, all right? It's at 13. It don't look to me like Zillow's going anywhere. Hell, it was down to 69% in 2001, eight years before Zillow was, right? So it doesn't look like Zillow has the ability to per, uh, predict 
anything in the market, right? They lost half a billion dollars flipping houses in one of the highest rising markets we've ever seen, right? Markets typically cycle usually in like a seven-year fashion, okay? Yes, we're in some extra innings on that, but Zillow screwing up doesn't predict anything because Zillow has been screwing up since they became a company. They've been losing. They've been a losing revenue. They've been a non-profitable business. They're in the red, essentially, since they've been started. They tried that. They lost, and they have not done what a lot of people have predicted they would do, and that's get rid of realtors. And y'all know them estimates, right? A little sweet, you know, the little Batman's estimate meme. Plus, also, I don't, you know, I just, I had to share this. I thought this was hilarious. This is right after Zilla lost it, <laughs> and they hit him with the uh, Squid Game meme. A couple other dope memes that I saw in the internet after the story about Zillow quitting uh, flipping houses broke out. I know all you real estate agents out there are watching this, probably digging this. Very happy, right? Because a lot of real estate agents are uh, very upset with Zillow, right? Real estate agents don't like Zillow, right? Zillow uh, has pissed off a lot of agents, uh, by aggregating all of their data and then selling it back to them and then telling them they'd never compete with them and then actually competing with them. So when Zillow did fall flat on their face, losing half a billion dollars, uh, realtors around the Internet were going wild, popping off the good memes. But I'm not here to continue to bash on Zillow. I mean, I don't actually really care. I don't really mind Zillow. I've never been one of those real estate agents that uh, spent a lot of money advertising on Zillow, so I'm not too butthurt when they uh, got in the game. I never really felt it affected me. I think a lot of the agents that were upset uh, by Zillow getting into the house flipping game were just afraid that they were going to push them out. But if you look at the data, the data isn't showing that Zillow is doing anything in regards to pushing real estate agents out of business. And the data, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't show me anything that Zillow has any idea what's going to happen with housing prices in 2022 and beyond. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.